that are in. The moment has come. Layer rail 4. What we're going to be doing in this tutorial is going over a proper setup for layer rail 4. Now it's not there's not a lot of tutorials on how to do this and it will save your headache in the long run because how you set up Laravel 4 now is far different than how you set up Laravel 3.2. So to begin with, if you're on any other server installation besides WAMP, you're going to want to go into your HTTP config folder and um, or your PHP, actually your PHP.ini file and uncomment the extension, the extension for open SSL. Okay, if you're on WAMP, it's going to be, you just follow through this and watch how we do it on WAMP. You should be able to figure out how to do it on ZAMP or LAMP or MAMP. Uh, I'm going to go into my bin folder and WAMP is totally different than the other ones because WAMP has three different PHP INI files that it uses. Uh, first we're going to go into PHP here. PHP, and I'm going to open this folder and we're going to go to this folder right here to configuration settings and we're just going to open it, just double click it, open it in notepad and we're just going to hit control F and type in SSL and here it is and you're going to want to make sure that it has no semicolon. Normally it, it would have this in front of it which means it's not enabled. So we're going to go ahead and delete that and control S. Move out of there. It's PHP for Apache here. You're going to want to open that and do the same thing. So we're just going to open Notepad, control F, SL, find that, enable that, and then we're going to want to go out here to Apache itself and go its go to the Apache 2.2 bin, open its PHP INI file and uncomment it. It's gonna save you headache in the long run. <coughs> Excuse me. After you're done with that, you wanna go ahead and get on the web and just go get composer. And it automatically comes up on mine. And go ahead and download it. I've already have it. The easiest way to install it on Windows is just to use the Windows installer, which is what I used. I'm not going to run it because I've already got it on my computer. But it's going to go, I'll just download it and go through the setup with you, even though I won't install it. The reason you do this is because it's going to ask you for your path to your PHP installation. And if it does not detect open SSL, like see here it's located in my path. If it does not find your your <clears throat> here, it would say open SSL not enabled, some functions will not be available. Laravel require Laravel 4 requires or composer requires SSL extensions to download uh, any of the dependencies for Laravel 4. So if you have OpenSSL enabled, then you're not going to go through the headaches that I've seen all kinds of people going through. So I'm not going to install it because I already have it on there. You can go ahead and install it. Okay, next, we're going to go to Laravel here. Once you have Composer installed, we're going to go to Laravel. And I don't use this. You can because I have the actual files on my computer which is the way I actually install it so you keep changing this uh, there's also well you don't have to worry about it there's also a website I don't know which one it is I think it's Laravel 4 if you type in Laravel 4 it tells you let's see It's documentation for Laravel 4.laravel.com. It will tell you that you need PHP 5.3.7 and the mcrypt PHP extension. Depending on which site you go to, this is the only one I've seen it on. But if you have Windows and you have WAMP or ZAMP, uh, mcrypt is already installed. It's part of PHP. It's been uh, 
merged into the into PHP. So you don't even have to worry about looking for extension. I see so many people saying, "Oh, I can't find how to enable the mcrypt PHP extension." Uh, well, if it's not on there, then chances are then you already have it merged into your PHP. I don't know about the other I don't know about Linux and I don't know about Mac, but on Windows, on WAMP and ZAMP, it's already merged in. If you have the latest version of ZAMP and WAMP, it's already in there. So we'll just go back here to Laravel 4. And you can use this way, but I don't. I already have the files on my computer. Uh, I'm just going to CD into it. I already have everything set up on my server, so I'm just going to CD. Uh, C colon backslash www actually WAMP and uh, what was it? Level four. So if I just <clears throat> go into the directory here, you see that we have an app folder, a bootstrap folder, and a public folder. And this right here is the, the composer that JSON file. So we're just going to run composer install. And it's going to pull in all the dependency packages for Level 4. So we're just going to sit here. So while it's doing this, you can go get a cup of coffee because it's going to take a while. Uh, we'll just sit here. Level 4 has changed significantly since Level 3.2. I've held off on doing tutorials for this even though I've been using it since the developer's version because I wanted to make sure that they weren't going to change anything at the last minute. So this is the ma the actual master version, the release version. As you can see it can take a very long time and it's, it doesn't matter which system you're on, it doesn't matter whether you're on Windows, Mac, or Linux, it still takes just as long. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video while this installs all its dependencies. Actually, scratch that, it's installing them now. So you can see it's pulling in everything. It's pulling in stuff from Doctrine, from Symphony. Most of you aren't even going to know what those are. I've never used Doctrine, I've never used Symphony. Here it's pulling in Swift Mailer. Okay, it's uninstalling. So now, if we navigate to level L4.dev, it's not working because I don't have WAMP started. <laughs> Let's go ahead and restart WAMP. That might help to have the server running. Okay, now let's try this again. And there we go. So Laravel is officially installed on the PC. So let me go ahead and open Sublime Text here. And this is my site that I'm actually working on now. So I'll just remove this folder from the project. Level blade errors. And I'll close all these. And I'll just where's that here? I'll just grab this folder here and drag it into the bomb text and here we go. So now here's our Level 4 installation. And the next 
tutorial we'll go ahead and install Jeffrey Way's excellent fabulous uh, generator for level 4. If uh, you watch my tutorials before you have noticed that I used his, ger his generator for level 3 and he also has a generator for level 4 and in the next tutorial we'll go over the installation of that. So thank you for watching, subscribe, like, and I'll see you soon.